Okay, this is a tutorial real fast. If you want to make your own custom language, if they uh, don't have the correct language for what you're using in uh, Notepad++, you go down here to uh, see when you create them, they go down here. I already made that one. But you go down to User Defined, and right now it's uh, in it. Notice how it just cleared because I haven't defined this yet. So I go to View user defined dialog and it pops up this window I prefer to dock it makes it easier to work with and then you'd click create new and whatnot and uh, oh I was looking at the wrong tab that's why okay so see keywords lists so it chooses if it sees these keywords anywhere in there it'll uh, change them to font and color styles you choose so you can see I've set it up to do that with uh, let's see all these registers and all the all the commands they're like addition multiplication or and uh, register names all that stuff is going to be highlighted in blue like this and then these commands uh, dat all the if commands the JSR and set are all going to be this lighter blue color and then prefix mode allows you to say that this if this is at the beginning of line then highlight that and I think if you yeah see that doesn't get changed to uh, that doesn't get changed to the highlighting because it's not part of that keyword but you see I made a highlight for this and right now I'm showing you these examples with uh, dcpus-16 and I made this and I'll put a link to download it if you want it for uh, the DCPU um, now for comments comment line you choose like a keyword to be the beginning of a line for it to uh, uh, what do you call it highlight it as a comment and treat keyword as a symbol the difference that does you see how this it's suddenly not highlight it anymore because it's not recognizing it because it's not a key word because it's the beginning of a line there's no space there so treat keyword as symbol means it doesn't have to have a space for it to be a comment and then comment block I haven't I haven't messed with but I imagine it'll be well it's pretty self-explanatory comment open comment close what begins and ends a comment and then operators I don't know why this one is there it shouldn't be there um, something I don't know messed up or whatnot then you can have uh, and basically what this does operators if this symbol shows up it'll change it to this color like if any of these symbols show up it'll change it to this color like you activate one by pushing this button you click on it to choose it you select stuff that kind of thing I haven't actually used that yet though um, this one I decided to make it so that when you call when you're using uh, brackets to specify that you're calling for the uh, value over here that it'll be this color and um, and then for text if there's going to be text data input then wow that's a big table right there but you see right here how this is a different color where it's uh, text being input and that's what this does so yeah um, that's how you make one you'd, you'd probably you'd click create new and it'd pop up this dialogue and everything and then you choose the extension that it's going to recognize this for in this case DASM16 and then you can also import and export so like um, I need to export because I fixed something just now so I'm going to uh, I'm going to export that and then if you wanted to import something you could choose an XML file to import and that's basically how you do that enjoy wait yeah enjoy I guess this tutorial is now over.